something that you might see. So. The video. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So here are examples. And remember, we actually are ignoring whether they say to add or subtract because we're going to do what is the biggest integer to figure it out. So this one is negative five and a half plus, it could say minus, it could say whatever, but um, we're looking at what comes before the integer. So for this one, we're saying biggest integer wins the sign. So even though this says adding, what we're using this for is to find out whether it's a positive or negative. So this is a negative, this is a positive, this is a bigger integer, so we know the answer is gonna be negative. And then this is a negative and this is a positive, so we know we're actually gonna subtract it. You don't have to cross it out, but in your mind, whatever you get, you are going to subtract it. Does that make sense? Because yeah. this is the biggest integer. Okay, so we're gonna find out what that is. Okay, so it's five and three sixths, and then we have a negative, so our answer is negative, we have a negative and positive, so we're gonna subtract this. So this is three minus four, we can't do that, so we have to borrow. So we make this into a four, and we add six sixths. Do you remember we did this last year? Yeah, I remember. Okay, so this becomes nine six minus four six equals five six, and then four minus three is one, and the answer is negative. For this one, it's the same numbers, so we have five and a half plus three and two thirds. So we know this is a positive, this is a positive, biggest integer wins the sign, and because they're both positive, we're going to get our three sixths and our four sixths, and we're just gonna add it together. 7, 6, and then 5 plus 3 is 8, and then this is an improper fraction. So this actually turns into 1 and 1 sixth, and then we add these two together. 8 plus 1 is 9 and 1 six. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Then this one, we have a negative and a negative. So biggest integer wins the sign. Our answer is going to be negative, and then we're going to add these together because they're both negatives. Does that make sense to you? So you don't really yep. need to cross these out. I just don't want to get confused. So I'm just going to kind of cover it up and know that I have to add it together. So this is going to be negative eight, and then this is three six, and this is four six. So it is seven six. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn this into one and one six, and then I'm going to add these together nine and one six, and my answer is negative. And then this one, biggest integer wins the sign, so my answer is gonna be positive, and I have a positive and a negative, so I know I'm gonna subtract. So this one actually stands that it's gonna be a subtraction problem. So then I change this to a six, I change this to a six, I multiply this by three, I multiply this by two, and then I'm going to add them together. And then, oh, sorry, I'm not going to add them together. I'm going to subtract them. So I can't do that without borrowing. I add this 6, 6 here. 9, 6 minus 4, 6 equals 5, 6. And then 4 minus 3 is 1. And my answer is positive. Do you have any questions about that, Hadley? Nope. Okay. Um, can you give me some examples of school? Um, do you have any homework? We can do it. No, I didn't have any homework today. Okay. Can you share one that you did yesterday or the day before? Uh, she was, um, today I had nine tenths minus two thirds. Okay. So... We have a positive, and then this is going to be subtraction, right? Yes. So then we have 30 and 30. I changed my 10 to a 30 by multiplying times 3. Anything I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 
times 10 times 10. And then biggest integer wins the sign. So my answer is going to be positive. I have a positive and a negative. So I subtract 7 thirtieths, and my answer is positive. Yep. If it was negative 9 tenths minus 2 thirds, then we would get same thing, 27 over 30 and 20 over 30. And then because these are both negative, I would actually add these together. And my answer is negative. And then I have to change this into a mixed number. So it would be 1 and 17 thirtieths. Make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Can you give me another one? Um, let's see here. Um, I got let's see, eleven point eighty one plus nine point thirty four. Sorry, say it again. Uh, eleven point eighty one plus nine point thirty four. And both of them are positive? Yep. So then you would just line up the decimals. And then since they're both positive, we would add them together. 4 plus 1 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. If this was negative 11.81 minus 9.34, both of my integers are negative, so I'm actually going to add them together. And my answer is negative. And then if it was 11.81, oh my gosh, wait, did I subtract? I did subtract. Yeah. Ah, sorry. 9, 10, 11, 21. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this one, we would say this is a positive, this is a negative, and then we would do subtraction and figure it out. So it is tricky to keep track of it all. And so if you had this, it looks like it's an addition problem, but it's biggest integer wins the sign. This is a negative, this is a positive. So you would subtract 11.81 minus 9.34. And my answer would be negative because biggest integer wins the sign. Okay. It's super tricky to keep track of, but I have faith in you. 